Hey guys, what is going on? Need Takes Raccoon here, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Art Academy. Let's start off our lesson, shall we? I think the last time we said it would be Inkay. I think it was Inkay. Let me move my mic a little closer. There we go. Yep, right here. And then after we do Inkay, we're gonna go back through all of these little lessons right here. Um, as I pointed out in uh, episode three, I ended up missing a lot of lessons. So we got three right here. They look uh, they look pretty basic. So I think those should be done within a reasonable amount of time. Uh, these might take a few episodes. No, that one's gonna take me minutes. All right, no, no, it shouldn't take that that long at all. And of course, this one, that one might be a few episodes. Depends. Yeah, these are gonna be a few episodes long. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a while. So, uh, each and every one of those is going to be about, estimately, one episode long each. And they're going to be pretty long episodes. And, of course, NK, I'm scared with what they're doing today. But, uh, we're about to figure that out, aren't we? So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start the lesson. Alright, so let's see what we're doing today. Welcome to the final set of lessons in the novice course. We're going to draw Inkei, a small floating dark psychic type Pokemon. With the lights in Inkei's top flash, its opponents become dazed and lose their will to fight. This allows for a swift getaway to a safer place. Now, in this lesson, I'm going to introduce you to a new tool. Really? What are we learning? Ooh, a pencil. And also a new type of drawing overlay, the construction shapes overlay. Really, what's this do? You can switch between the different overlays via the overlay button in your toolbox. Oh, that looks cool. Just like that, the construction shapes overlay is a useful guide to the shapes of a Pokemon. Oh, I see what you did there, fam. It sits on the top of your drawing, just like the outline overlay we used up until now. Here are some examples of the construction shapes. Can you tell what Pokemon they are? I think I can. Uh, the first one's Oshawott. Second one I think is Inkay. The third one looks like Torchic. Hey! When you have the construction shapes, it's easy to sketch the details with a pencil. And once you have your pencil sketch, you can draw the final outlines on top. And then you can erase the pencil lines and color your drawing. Let's start by sketching Inkay's details now. We'll start with Inkay's top. The green triangle shape. Gr green triangle? Inkay's Illuminati confirmed. Shows its size and position. We'll smooth the angles and draw a soft shape around it. Alright, so we're going in with the pencil. And I, I guess we're we're going like that. Alright. I hope uh, maybe there's like... To trace it. Oh, that fadget. Well, there's no tracing today! Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> okay, guys. Today's drawing might not be as good. I'm gonna be honest with you. Hold on. I'm gonna see if I can make it semi decent at least. I, w I wanna make it semi decent, so. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? It starts off right here, it looks like. And you pass by. Don't you go up on me. There we go. I pass my right on up here. This is going to be a long episode. Oh my god. Um, we have based eraser tool, right? Alright, I could forgive you, Professor. And also, I did find a, uh, a better way of using some of these hotkeys in here. So... 
I'm hoping that it will go a little smoother. That looks a little... Not for nothing. That looks a little more accurate than uh, the last attempt I had. But now we're actually, like, getting into the details of Art Academy, and... Ep it still makes me want to cry. I see the problem, though. Yeah, I'm on that tool. Um, now there are some, uh, there are some hotkeys in here that makes my life a lot easier. So I don't have to pull up the damned menu every second. But, uh, here we go. That's starting to look a little better, truth be told. Even though this is like a silly series, I still want to give it my all in the drawings. Because I want to learn how to make better art, so this actually is like... It actually matters to me how well I do. So, um, sometimes you're going to have to bear with me if I can't get it right. Because... Fuck. Uh, honestly, I am not the best artist in the world. I am actually really bad. So, uh, just bear with me sometimes, and, uh, I'll do my best. And besides, the end result, now that we're not really tracing, it looks like, will be, um, a lot more desirable, I suppose. You know what, why the heck am I putting so much effort into this? This is just an overlay. Like, I get it if you're doing, like, the final design and shit, but, like, this is just the main overlay. Hold on. Do we have the grid? <gasps> really? Really? Well, I probably should have listened to him a little closer. But, um, uh, for our sake, we're not... what I break? Oh, I see, I see. Alright, so let's see which way it go. It seems to go this way. Up about that much. And then it curves along here, goes down here, and then down. Alright, let's see. Let's see where it goes exactly. So it goes about halfway down the triangle. So right about here. goes up about that much. And then curves to the top curve your ass up there get curved there we go and then we uh we got to do this side over here now so this is going to be just as brutal as the last one let's see oh i'm getting the hang of this now I understand it. Alright. I see what they did now. This is helping a lot. What they did, I didn't notice this before, don't kill me, but, um, uh... Looks like that almost every single, uh, shape here starts at some sort of, uh, line. Like, you can see at the bottom, the, uh, the bottom piece right here, let's say, right here. Starts at the yellow line, hits the blue line, and then angles up to the green one. Now, I know that's the way it's supposed to be in the ori originally, but I didn't expect it to be this detailed. Like, around the yellow line, I didn't expect that much. So, uh, but now that I notice that, it's helping a lot, if you, uh, you couldn't tell. And now we're just gonna switch over, so it needs to be in the middle of the triangle. So, right about here, is it? Is it here? I'm going to put it right here. Yeah, right about there is fine, but hold on. Go up. That's a little too far, but we'll be good. Hey, we made it. There we go. There we go. That is um uh, to be desired, but we made it. Let's continue sketching. 
The bottom of Enkei's body splits into eight tentacles, through we only see five of them here. At each side of the head, there are two pointy flaps, which come to, from the base of its top. Alright, we're going pencil. Let's see, hold on, let's see the final result, shall we? Bruh, no. 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 Honestly, I don't know if I can do this, but I gotta keep, I gotta keep cool. I gotta I got do this. Do it for the fam. Do it for the fam. Almost. What am I doing? Oh, I'm doing this. Alright. And then up like this. Yeah, I, I think this is it. This is actually starting to look okay. Oh, that's a little fat. Then let's start from the bottom then. Yeah, let's start from the bottom and we'll work our way up. There we go. And we're going to move right back on over here and we're going to finish up this little uh, piece right here. Well, like like this and then to uh, to finalize it we gotta go like this that actually looks pretty good I didn't expect to do that well I honestly thought I was gonna suck um, in a whole new definition well, let's see it starts right about here where does it go? Where does it go, though? Alright, I have an idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to make that go all the way up here. Yeah, we're going to go like this. Alright, so we're going to start off like that. And now we're going to actually draw the uh, little um, thingamabobbers right here. The things that uh, they wave at you. They wave at you, though. Hi. So, I guess we're going to go like this. No, I did it too late then. Alright, so let's make a marker where it has to be done. Let's see. I wish there was a way to, like... Right here, then. Right there? I'd say right about there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go just like this. How, how much of an incline does it have to be at? There we go. And now we can just go like this. And then do something fairly similar on the way back. And where's the start? Right here. Alright, yeah, that'll work. And we're gonna go right back over here, and we're just gonna go like that. And finally, we're gonna do uh, this piece right here. So basically, we're making our own outlines now, and that is actually really cool. But the episodes are gonna get so much longer now, because of that. I wonder, I wonder how long these are actually gonna be. I am actually estimating these episodes to be coming out about an hour long. So, um, uh, making them daily is going to get a little, um, uh, tricky. They're going to be very tricky. Very, very, tr very tricky. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got to do here first, though. So, it looks like it starts from the... 
the circle? Oh, right, because I just put this here as a placeholder. All right, I understand that. So I'd say right about here, this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do little marks. So I'd say right about here and right here. So those marks that I made are gonna help me with the, uh... oh yeah, one more mark, one more mark. Say right about here. All right, so what these marks are gonna do for me is they may seem silly to you if like you're more experienced. Oh, let me undo that mark. That was a horrible mark. Was it horrible? Yes, it was. It's very bad. Let me go right here. So, for an experience drawer, you're going to say, like, these marks are silly. For me, what they're going to do is they're going to help me visualize where things start and how you change into them. Like, for instance. And then from here, you'd go like this. Something like that. And uh, that's what I'm using the marks as. They're markers for uh, the changes in slope. And it's gonna... Honestly, that doesn't look good at all. Because I'm, I'm not far out enough. That would be a good reason why. There we go. Solved that. And it's gonna go like this. And then of course the finale. This one's actually pretty straightforward it looks like. Yeah, that was pretty straightforward if I'd say so myself. This one, I'm still not very satisfied with. Because of, uh... The way it angled didn't look right. So we're gonna try that again. You know what? That's close enough for now. And finally, we're gonna delete these little lines right here. Um, if you guys, like, do really want me to do, like, what I'm doing now, and just pacing myself, and, like, trying to make it good, just let me know. If not, then, of course, uh, by all means, again, let me know, and I will, uh, I'll try to make changes. I want to put all of my effort into actually making this series work, but if you guys don't like the slower-paced version of this, then, uh, just please, please let me know, and I will, uh... I'll see what I can do. Uh, yeah, I'm just double checking my work, and of course, it was one issue. This should be about the same height. There we go. And we're ready to move on. Next step. It's time to sketch Inke's face. Do you see that blue dotted line across the head? That will help you place Inke's features. The eyes are lined up along the horizontal line. The vertical line shows where the middle of the face. This is where the beak goes. On top of its face, you can add a line where Inke's top covers its eyes. Construction shapes make placing everything much easier. Alright. Oh, alright. That's some, uh, nowhere near as bad as what we were dealing with before, I'd say. So what are we dealing with now? All right, um. Help me! Help me! I've, I've always been bad with uh, shapes like this, but. I I'm gonna have to take a shot for you guys. Do it for the fam. Doing it for the fam. Because I can always go back and like do that little retwace. Re retwace. I'm twacing things. Hey guys, look. I'm really twacing it. 
<laughs> I'm done. All right, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna do that again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But uh, oh, that would have been helpful to do later. Oh fuck it, I'll do it later. Uh, let's see what do we get here. So it's the second line. Fuck it. It looks amazing. No, it doesn't. Why you do this? Get down there. Ain't no one like you. So let's see. It goes right around here-ish. Let, let, let's do that point thing again. It'll end right about here. And then right about here. And then finally right about here. Oh, that is so neat. That was sarcasm, by the way. All right, so we're going to actually fix up this line right here. I don't like it. it it's going to drive me insane. So we're just going to do a little touch-up on it. I really don't need to be doing this. Fuck this. I, I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. That, that is going to be done later. I keep trying to make this thing perfect, but like I keep forgetting that I don't need to make it perfect when you're just drawing the basic outlines of it. I think that's it. I, I can't tell with the freaking line up in there. So that this could be it too. I mean, look how happy he looks. And of course, finally the uh, the line. Yeah, this going up here, go right up. Yeah. Am I at the right line? Yes. All right. Next step. Next step. My god, we haven't even gotten to the part where we used to do this in the, uh... The, what do you call it? We, I might actually need to make this into a part two. This has been going on for a while now. I might need to make this into a part two. I see what we're doing now. We're actually drawing the outline. Let me check what tool we're using again. We're using this one. Alright, so um, uh, sorry for that cut right there if you uh, noticed it. I was actually planning on doing an outro, which I did, and ends up I did not do my time correctly. So we should have enough time to actually finish this. I am expecting this episode to... Um, it's going to be uh, pretty hefty still. I, I'm still thinking this is going to be our longest episode. We could get up to around 50 minutes. But uh, <clears throat> if that's what it gets up to, that's what it gets up to. I mean, you know, that's what happens. But uh, I'm expecting it to start going a lot faster now because I'm in a, a spot where I'm a lot more comfortable. I am much more comfortable making uh, these types of lines rather than the uh, the pencil ones believe me especially since that autocorrect thing it's like they got going on here it's uh it's like based god so here we go a little more maybe there we go nice and sexy and we're just gonna go right up around here and you know what I'm actually looking forward to the way this is gonna come out this is actually looking really good I I think that maybe the extra time I spent on the lines is starting to look like it's worth it because it looks like it's gonna help me 
What have I done here? I totally forgot a step. I forgot an entire step. That is honest to God impressive. I forgot an entire step right here, right here. I'll get to that in a minute then. Because like... Yep, I forgot an entire step. I don't believe this. There. Big whoop. I forgot a step. Okay, whatever. We're cool, though. We're cool. There. See, everything's fine. Everything's nifty. We fixed it. We fixed it. We're the man. Come on. Alright, let's do this. So, right here... Let's see if we can get a curve going. Can we get a curve? Not even bad. And go right up here. Alright, I'm not as happy with these lines, but uh... Maybe I should just follow the actual lines instead of trying to make my own. Make it look a little better, I mean. And right on down here. I can actually live with that. Yeah, I can live with that. Zoom in just a little bit, and we're going to correct these, uh, this little mess I've made. Hopefully within a reasonable amount of time. Fuck it. I feel... Yeah, that looks about right at still. I was just making sure I didn't take off like too much. I didn't want to take off too much. That would suck. Alright, so what's left for me to do here? We gotta, gotta do this. Right around here-ish. There. Does it look good? Yeah, it looks good. And we can just go like this. And right on down here. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I learned. Uh, I looked at the last video and I learned that uh, taking my time is a. Uh, it's no longer an option. I thought I was going too fast and I wasn't. So uh, the taking my time thing isn't going to be happening anymore. So as long as I can keep up with it. I'm going to do it. There we go. And it looks like we just got to go like this now. Is it like this? Oh, well, you got to use the right tool. So we could just get rid of this right here. Yeah, that looks about right. That looks almost exactly right. I'm pretty happy with the result. Let's see. Now we'll need to draw need a thinner mark to outline the detail. All right. All right. Yeah, I see what you're doing. Now we're gonna go into here, and we're uh, we're drawing what we didn't draw before, more or less. Here we go. Right around here, ish. Nice and power. 
There we go. We can now actually see the beak. We can see what we were what we were uh, doing before, and it looks like I was pretty close with uh, what I was looking for. So I'm thinking right around here because it looks like I need to redo part of the beak because of uh, the way I set up the eyes. It's a very annoying manner. So this eye is a little close to the beak, but it's going to need to get over it. It's like you could auto-correct my circle, but no. So, really, you're not going to auto-correct that. So I need to do you in steps now. Thank you. Here we go. I almost, almost got it. I need to turn my DS again. Well, thank you for making it harder than it had to be. And... Fuck. I just realized what they were doing. Well, that's gonna get a remake. How, how did they do this? It looks like it went up from here and went through. All right. So basically, it's the same thing as before. But instead, it starts from there. Starts from here and goes all the way up here like that. That's what, that's what it looks like, if you ask me. No. I assumed it starts from here and then makes its way up here. And from here. There we go. That looks so much better. And, uh... Wow, that's a lot of mistake I need to fix. It's like I could do this. Or I, you know, I could just like on. There. Cause fuck it. Almost got it. Here. That looks so much better. And, uh, cause, why not? There. And now we don't need to do the, that part right up there. Cause it's not needed. And we can actually get rid of this now. There we go. Yeah, I think that's it. Is that it? No, there's one more thing. Sneaky little bastard. Next step. With the outlines done, I'm going to turn off the construction shapes overlay. Remember, you can tap this icon if you ever need to get it back. Our pencil sketch has done its job too, so let's erase it. All right. Really? So this is the biggest it's going to get. All right. I mean, like, if I was, like, in Photoshop or something, I'd just, you know, freaking hide the layer. That way, if I messed up again. But no. No can't do that there we go that looks nice now it's time for a splash of color we'll start with the bright blue to fill in K's body all right and uh, looks like we're doing the second biggest and yeah I'm actually really happy with the way it's coming out so far Um, this is definitely the hardest lesson that we've ever done 
because we actually had to make our own lines and we had little to no reference by uh, reference I mean like uh, what do you call it tracing we didn't trace this time we actually drew with what we saw which was a uh, it's a lot more different than what we were doing before up to this point we were tracing but I will admit it was pretty necessary because uh I wanted to get familiar with Art Academy and I think they were thinking the same thing when uh people first started off so they made people do tracing and such to start off with which is fine I mean it worked out very well and in the end we uh, we learned a lot about it and all that fun stuff so that looks about right if I'd say so myself we're gonna keep going now we'll use the white marker to color in the whole top of the eyes as well so marker white hey there we go fuck this fuck that shit I do things my own way, Professor. Here we go. There we go. See, my way is better. It's taking less time. And time is definitely of the essence here. Especially when you are doing a let's play. Time is indefinitely of the essence. Here we go. And go right around here. There are a few things I need to fix up real quick. Uh, once I finish the eyes. Well, I did not just rush through that, now did I? And of course, we're going to have to change the br brush to that, so we can fix that, fix that. What else did we mess up right here? Uh, anywhere else? Be around the white edges. Alright, not badly, no. And now we're just going to fix up the outsides. Whoops, it's a little uh, too much. There we go, and uh, let's go on up here. Oops. Here we go. We're just going into hyper speed right now, lol. We're just uh, we're going at it full storm. I forget part of that. What layer is that from? Oh. Well. All right, yeah, that, we fixed that now. And now we're just going to go along the uh, little sides right here. And uh, fix up these last little uh, pieces to the color. There we go. Ta-da! And we are moving on to the next step. It's time to color in the pink part of Inkay's top and its tiny beak. Beak. Bake. It's a bake. Bacon. And uh, we're going to choose pink, it looks like. And oh. So it just gets... Oh, you are looking absolutely amazing. I mean... Wait. He's actually... Imp she's improved. Holy crap. No, no, like, really, it's improved. Look at that. You actually got a semi-relevant shape going. I mean, we got the dome down there. It's a type of dome and looks more like a spade. You know what I mean? I mean, like, you could see there's some improvement. There's a lot of improvement. I mean, the coloring's still off, but in general, there's a lot of improvement. I I'm seeing it. Freaking watch. There's been so much improvement in that one person. This is where it's like... This is gonna be better than me. I'm telling you. 
by the time this freaking Art Academy is done, I'm going to be making top-notch photos. Watch. I'm telling you. The pink jelly in Inke's top is surrounded by a layer of clear white jelly. When drawing Inke, the pink do doesn't quite reach the outline and leaves a white border. Alright, thanks fam. We... Alright, uh, let's see, what do we got here? So it looks like it starts from right about here. Goes to right about here. And then goes from here, right about here. And then we're gonna go right over here. And we're just gonna fix the outside a little bit to make it look better. Uh, especially when you are uh, coloring, that is like super pseudo important that it looks good. Because that is a lot more noticeable if you were to mess up on then let's say the, uh, the outer lines. Here we go. I'm really drawing it. There we go. And uh, one more uh, little thing. No! Yeah, that looks about right. I mean, in compare. Uh, no. Yeah, it's pretty close. And, um, yeah, it's remote. I mean, you can tell what I was trying to do. There we go. Can, can we make it a little better? We can. And of course, the the beak needs to get done. Oops, I opened up the menu by accident. Yeah, that looks about right. So uh, we're moving on to the next step now. Next step. With the dark color, with the dark gray color, we're going to draw the pupils in Inke's eyes. All right. Let's uh, switch over to that. Yeah, that looks about right. So let's see. Like this. Whoops, a daisies. Let's go a little slower on this then, shall we? Just a tiny bit. There we go. That looks about right ish. I'm not doing horrible. I could make this one a little bigger. There we go. And let's continue. We'll use the white again to draw the highlights in the eyes. And yeah, that looks pretty straightforward if you ask me. When you mess up so bad that you just you keep trying and you mess up more, that 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 was the definition of what happened in the last highlight. Well, it's not saying kill me. That's a that's a plus. That is uh that is definitely a plus. Oh, don't be like that now. And... Fuck. Alright, yeah, I'm never doing something stupid like that again. I'm never doing it again, I promise. This is the biggest brush. I keep messing myself over. It was not even worth it. It wasn't even funny. All right, yeah, I, I think that's about it. And uh, we're moving on to the next step. This is the final step. Let's use the yellow t to draw the lights on Inke's top. All right. So switching out here, here, and there. There we go. 
Oh, absolutely wonderful. Perspective. Why you do this to me, Professor? Do you hate me this much? I, I think he hates me, truth be told. No, that's horrible. Uh, is that it? That's pretty fucking close, so I'll give it that much. Let me just fix a few things that's been bugging me. Since this is definitely the last step, as he said, I just want to fix a few things, if I could see something wrong with them. You know what, we're close enough, we're good, we're good. And this is the end of the session. Are you ready to finish? Yes. Well done, you've drawn K. It actually is the best one so far. I will be honest. That is, um, that is definitely the best one. Was it Lee? I think it was Lee. Was it Lee? I don't know. I'm going to have to figure that out. Anyways, you now know how to draw a sketch from construction shapes in your drawings. You can keep practicing this new skill in mini lessons. Or, if you're feeling confident, the final exercise of the novice course is now unlocked. If you complete that, you'll become an apprentice at last. See you soon. Lesson complete. That actually came out way freaking better than I thought it would. Yeah, let's add a background. I'm actually pretty proud of that one because, uh, not for nothing. That one actually uh, was more drawn on my own, so. Yeah, let's uh, save and finish. So let's go over what we're going to be drawing next time. I actually do not know um, uh, how many we're gonna do, so it'll really, it'll depend on the times. Alrighty, so it will uh, it will depend heavily on the uh, the times of when everything is finished. So, first things first, let's go take a look at the album. Hooray! I thought for a minute you'd forgotten, Professor. What'd I forget? The eight rules should be thought as guidelines. They aren't meant to restrict you. So they're more like pointers for creating awesome card illustrations. That's a good way to see it. With that in mind, let's take a look at the next rule. Draw forth the appeal of the character. It's always good to draw Pokemon in poses and settings that match the character. Have a look at this official Pokemon card illustration of Mamoswine. Hmm. Here, Mamoswine is illustrated in snowy mountainous settings, which is in its natural habitat. It wouldn't be appropriate to Mamoswine's character to place it in a very different setting, like a hot desert. Precisely, that would look rather odd. The next official Pokemon card illustration shows Charmander in a rocky area. That setting suits Charmander because it's a fire type Pokemon, right? Right. It is commonly found in hot mountainous areas, so the illustration is very fitting. Awesome! I do love Charmander. You're in luck then. Charmander is the subject of one of our newly unlocked mini lessons. I'll add this rule to your extra settings so you can review it at any time. You may find reviewing the rules to be a very good source of inspiration. I will see you both in the next lesson. And with that in mind, we are now going to uh, check out a few things. Ooh, so we got Pikachu, Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Victini. That is nice. Oh, shit, they got finals? They got finals. What the hell? I was about to say, what the hell is this? School? And it, it, it is. It is basically school. But it's the fun type of school. Anyways, let's see what we've done so far. Here we go. That looks actually really nice. Um. 
anyways, and if you saw any other drawings, I was just practicing on my own time and such. They'll probably be gone for the next episode. Uh, for some reason, they decided to put them in cards. I'm not sure why. That makes no sense. I didn't tell them to do that. Whatever. Anyways, let's go over what we will be doing next time. Next time, we will be starting off from the beginning of the novice course, and we're going to be doing... Uh, let's see. It's gonna be one of these guys. I'm not I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do yet. We've already done Oshawott, so we're, uh, we're either gonna do Chess Pin, Tepig, or Squirtle. Uh, they both all seem like they should be fairly fast, so that's about it then. And with that, guys, thank you very much for watching today. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you like my content and this video in general, of course, hit that like button. And in the comment section below, just let me know, like, what do you think of the style that I was using today? Do you think that I should have spent a little bit more time on the pencil, pen, pencil, pencil, the pencil sketches? Should I have spent more time on the pencil sketches? Or should I have just been a little bit more sloppy and then fix it later on? That is all up to you guys. And um, uh, I'm going to try to keep these episodes a little bit faster because this was a rather long, long, long episode. Anyways, guys, that's about it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you later.